There's growing tensions with Russia and a massive show of military might this morning, similar to the Soviet days. A huge military parade as President Vladimir Putin arrives in Crimea weeks after it became part of Russia again. ABC's Terry Moran is right there in Crimea with the story. Good morning to you, Terry. Good morning. President Putin has just arrived in this historic Russian naval port until a couple of weeks ago. It was part of Ukraine, now claimed by Russia. This is a day of extraordinary personal triumph for Putin in the face of Western sanctions and criticism. He's taking what amounts to a defiant victory lap. It began this morning in Moscow. Putin, flanked by his generals and political deputies, presided over a show of military might that echoed Soviet displays during the Cold War. 11,000 troops, 150 military vehicles and missiles, 70 aircraft roaring overhead. This day is sacred to Russians. It marks the country's victory over Nazi Germany in a war that killed 20 million here. We will protect Russia, its glorious history, and first and foremost, we will serve our homeland, Putin told the adoring crowd. He is riding sky high right now even presiding over a Russian missile launch. Part of rare nuclear weapons exercises yesterday. But for all his chest-thumping and defiance, Putin seems to have stepped back from these armed forces. Pro-Russian separatists in eastern Ukraine who are planning an independence referendum on Sunday, even though Putin has now called for it to be canceled and claimed he's pulling back Russian troops from the border, though U.S. and NATO officials still say they've seen no sign of it. While other parts of Ukraine remain deeply divided on the edge of civil war, this city is strongly pro-Russian. They feel they have come home to Mother Russia. And to the people here, Vladimir Putin is a hero.